Hi, this is Ron with Smart Trucking. I want to uh, challenge you to like the video, subscribe to it. Go to my website, smarttrucking.biz. Once again, this is Ron, driver consultant, where you will find your number one source of information. Right here is where you will find your number one source from a truck driver of over 20 something years. I've been in the industry for over a little over 28 years now. Been a driver trainer, driver, I'm a driver consultant, over the road, lease owner operator, independent driver, drove for companies for years. So I know what I'm talking about. Today's topic is where do I start if I want to get my own authority? I want to give you a couple of things of what you're going to need. Tell you about a couple of things. One, you're going to need your operating authority, which is called pretty much MC. Uh, your DOT number. This will, will call, allow you to operate in your state or uh, interstate. So secondly, you will have to have insurance before your authority goes active. Thirdly, of course, you will need a truck and trailer, depending on what type of freight you want to haul, reefer, dry van, or flatbed. So first and foremost, you will have to apply. There are a lot of uh, companies out here that uh, will... Uh, apply for your authority um, for you. I, I went through a company. I, I would have to dig up their name. They was uh, pretty reputable. They didn't charge. I think it was only a few hundred dollars or so. So um, I'm not going to recommend anyone, but there are a lot of good ones out there. There are some that's not so good. But the main thing, you had to apply for your operating authority, which then would give you an MC and DOT number. Then some states uh, want you to have... Uh, their state DOT number. So that, that'll be a total of three numbers, depending on which state you live in. Uh, some states only require you just have the MC and DOT number, but some require you to have an MC, DOT number, and their deal, the state DOT number. So, but anyway, you'll have to have that, apply for it. Uh, you can Google search, um, you know, and, and find someone that'll apply for it, or you can apply for, you, for yourself. It's not that hard. Because uh, I actually started my process on my own, and then I, I let the company that I was familiar with uh, finish up mine. So um, then you have to have your insurance. So you're going to have to, uh, and, and pretty much insurance is going to go, most company, insurance companies, they're going to base on how long you've been driving, do you have any accidents, have you ever turned over a truck, you know, uh, pretty much around about the rate that they're going to give you. Then you're going to need uh, your trailer and stuff like that. So those are the biggest things. Then you're going to have to apply for your uh your IFTA sticker, uh, your fuel tax sticker pretty much is basically what it is. Uh, you have to go to your local comm controller office in whatever state you're living in. And so once you get that, you're uh, legal and ready to go. So, um, you know, you know, you get your truck registered, you know, you go down to your, uh, your um, some of them have uh, Pacific offices where they do, they just handle uh, truck registration. So once you get all of those good things, you're set to go. Then uh, you either, you know, you got a lot of different load boards. Some are free, some are paid, sign up, and you can start finding loads, um, which this will be a discussion for another video. How do I find loads? How do I know I'm getting a good price? Um, so look, those are the things that you need. Like the video, subscribe to it. Ron, I'm your number one driver consultant for all the cutting edge information in truck driving. Remember, you heard it from me first. I want you to do trucking the smart way. There are a lot of ways out here to do trucking, but a lot of guys are not doing it the smart way. What do you mean the smart way? The smart way means getting the most of my money, doing saving as much time as possible, doing things safe. So I, the list goes on and on. I'm all about doing trucking the smart way because at the end of the day, we can come up with a thousand ways to do trucking, but are we winning in the end? And so, hey, to anybody that's been wanting to do, uh, uh, yeah, become an independent driver, one, you need your operating authority, MC, DLT number, if the sticker, insurance for your equipment, uh, you're going to need... Uh, to get your, you know, your truck registered, you know, pretty much just like a car or whatever, you know, get your tag. You can get a a, a portion tag, you know, with the P means, you know, you want to pretty much go all over. Or you can get just an interstate tag, you know, interstate, you know, tag. So, uh, you know, uh, depends on what you want to do. So, you know, you go down to your local office, uh, comp control for your IFTA, 
You can get a service that will apply for your uh, operating authority. And so go to my website, like the video. This video has been helpful. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Subscribe to my YouTube. And I um, greatly, if there's anything you'd love to ask me, uh, go to my website, uh, message us, uh, smarttrucking.biz. Once again, Ron Driver Consultant, I'm here for you, the driver. I'll see you next time.